Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer. Today we are taking a look at the Nova Class, a starship that uh, <laughs> is needed a Tier 6 upgrade for a very long time. But first, a brief overview. The Nova Class was designed to replace the ever-undying Oberth. A... let's be honest, the Oberth did its job and did it well. Did it very well, in fact. Unfortunately, there was one singular problem. Lack of armament. The Oberth has no torpedo launchers as standard. I'm sure you can equip them in STO. In fact, I do, because I believe in a bal in somewhat of a balanced armament. That and having two torpedo launchers cuts down on energy usage for the weapons. Significantly. But, big but here. The Oberth didn't exactly acquit itself well at Wolf 359. Then again, there's a lot of ships that didn't exactly acquit itself, acquit themselves well at Wolf 359. More due to battle tactics, but uh, even if they did swarm, the Explorers, Experimentals, as much as I love the Wolf 359 ships and want them featured in STO, a lot of them were just galaxy development derivatives. I'm pretty sure the Freedom class, while a capable scout, was a little too optimistic. The Nova, however, takes elements of the Defiant class. And for good reason. The Nova used to be one of the Defiant's derivatives, or rather, its origin point. Of course, Cisco designed the Defiant and went, no, 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 no. Let's take this conventional, perfectly capable ship, toss the design aside, and go with something smaller, with an engine four times more powerful than it needs to be, and we'll go from there. And we all know how that went. Yes, I will never stop calling the Defiant anything other than a overpowered death trap for its crew, as well as for anyone fighting it, but mostly for its crew. Thank God for, jo for Miles Edward O'Brien. But Starfleet isn't one to toss anything away, fortunately. I mean, Cisco's probably still smarting over that. <laughs> and justly deserved. Yes, I don't like Cisco. He drank the Kool Aid. The Bajoran Kool Aid. Back to the Nova, though, they decided, okay, this defiant concept didn't work. Mostly because of a grieving widower with no sense of sanity. How do we use the use a ship that we spent year, spent months and months and months designing, refining, and conceptualizing, and what do we do with it? Then every single person in the room turns towards a very old, very clunky design dating back to the 2210s, I presume. Starfleet's buildup was rather slow in the 23rd century. After all, they look at the Oberth and they see a ship they can replace. And thus, the Nova was born. With a production run of probably three prototypes. The USS Nova herself, presumably the USS Quay, presumably another ship, and the USS Equinox. We all know the tale of the Equinox by now, but I might as well reiterate. Ransom screwed up.
He basically butchered a life form for no reason other than, I'm getting home, and I'm getting home now. I think he went a little bit crazy when half his crew was killed, and went, by any means necessary, by any means necessary. <laughs> In spite of, uh, Ransom's insanity, and I know a lot of people are going to be putting Janeway under the same scope, she might be cuckoo, but at least she didn't extinct, cause extinct, tried to exterminate a species for no good reason. Which brings us back to the Alpha Quadrant and a refit to the Nova class, the Rhode Island, as we first see in Endgame. Now the design differences between the two are basically minimal. The rather useless fins, gone, or at least reduced in size. After all, this is space. You don't need aerodynamics. The oops. The cutout for the deflector dish, for the secondary deflector dish, mostly covered up. It's a far more clean and efficient look. Nothing overly exposed. Hmm. Well, you know, I was right. The Equinox was a prototype. Yeah. Anyway, the Rhode Island is now the new standard for Nova class starships. Presumably all ships are built to the new standard. Of course, the Equinox, despite its in was perhaps so infamous that it warranted a new subtype, which is the Tier 5 6 variant. I know I've gone on a bit of a tangent to finally get here, but uh, here it is. The Tier 6 version of the Equinox. Uh, Nova. I hate it! But then again, that's a standard, isn't it? Most tier six ec most tier six skins, in fact most alts. Really? Holes do not make anything structurally more sound. For a ship at least, there are some uses for holes and structures. But not in this. That's just stupid. What were they smoking when they made this? No, no. Stick to the Nova. So. The Equinox is a scout ship. And I mean that quite literally in STO. It can mount dual cannons. To be perfectly honest, I find this a mistake. Why? It wasn't exactly mounting cannons and cannon. Frankly, the label of scout ship is rather generic. And I don't think the Nova is maneuverable enough for you to take use of those cannons on a regular basis. Now this thing is just like every other science ship. Oh, right. It has pilot abilities, so... Well, at least it has the ability to use pilot bridge officer abilities. That said... I still think Temporal or Intelligence would have been a better option for an alt. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.